Diploma Maths to Coordinate Geometry. Let us solve the first problem. Find the slope x intercept and y intercept of the line 2x plus 3y minus 11 is equal to 0. So first let us write the given equation. The given equation here is 2x plus 3y minus 11 is equal to 0. This is the given equation. Now 3y is equal to 2x goes to the right hand side so it becomes minus 2x. Similarly minus 11 goes to the right hand side and it becomes plus 11. Now y will be equal to minus 2 by 3x plus 11 by 3. We have shifted the 3 to the right hand side. Now let us compare the equation what we have got with the standard equation. That is uh, let us compare this with y is equal to mx plus c. So let us write down what is our m here. m means slope. So the slope m will be equal to minus 2 by 3 on comparing. And the y intercept. y intercept is represented by c. So what is the y intercept? The y intercept is 11 by 3. So c is 11 by 3. Now we have to find the x intercept. So in order to find the x intercept for x intercept you have to put y is equal to 0 in equation 1. That is let us say the equation the equation what we wrote in the beginning that is 2x plus 3y minus 11 is equal to 0. Let us call that equation as equation number 1. So in order to find our x intercept we have to put y is equal to 0 in the equation 1. That is the given equation. So that becomes 2x plus 3 into 0 minus 11 is equal to 0. So 2x plus 0 3 into 0 is 0 minus 11 is equal to 0. 2x will be equal to 11. We have shifted minus 11 to the right hand side and it becomes plus 11. Now our x will be 11 by 2. When we shift 2 to the right hand side it becomes by 2. So the value of x is y 11 by 2. The value of x is 11 by 2. x is the x intercept. So in the uh, first problem we have found slope m is equal to minus 2 by 3 y intercept as well as the x intercept. Hence we have solved the problem number 1. Now let us solve the problem number 2. Find the value of k if the lines k plus 1 into x plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 8x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 are perpendicular. Now let us first find the slope of the first line. So which is our first line? k plus 1 into x plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0 is our first line. Let us find the slope of the first line. In order to find the slope of the first line there is a formula. Slope will be equal to x coefficient divided by y coefficient. That is when we take the equation standard equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. The slope will be minus a by b. So here in our first equation our x coefficient or a will be k plus 1. So minus a means minus k plus 1 divided by b. Our b is 4. So we have to write 4 in the denominator. Now let us find the slope of the second line. So what is our second line? 8x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 is our second line. Let us find the slope of the second line. That is m2 is equal to minus a by b. We are using the same formula to find the slope of the second line. So our a is minus 8. Minus a. Minus a is minus 8. A, a is 8 but minus a is minus 8. So b is minus 3. So minus and minus get cancelled and we get 8 by 3. For perpendicular lines you have to remember a condition. So for perpendicular line there is a condition. For perpendicular lines m1 into m2 will be equal to minus 1. That is the product of the slopes will be equal to minus 1. This is the condition for the perpendicular lines.
Now what is our m1? Our m1 is minus of k plus 1 divided by 4 into m2. m2 is 8 by 3. So equal to minus 1. Now minus will get cancelled with minus. And 4 1s are 4 2s are 8. Now 2 into k plus 1 is remaining in the numerator and in the denominator we have 1 into 3, 3. So let us multiply 2, 2 into k, 2k plus 2 into 1, 2 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So 2k plus 2 is equal to denominator uh, there is 3 so it gets multiplied with the right hand side 1 into 3 we get 3. So 2k is equal to 3 minus 2 k will be equal to half. Now let us solve the second equation, second problem. Find the equation to straight line passing through the points 5, 2 and minus 3, 3 and also find the slope and y intercept of the line. So let us first write x1, y1 that which is given. So what is x1, y1? x1, y1 is 5, 2. And x2, y2 point is also given. x2, y2 is minus 3, comma 3. So x2, y2 is minus 3, comma 3. Now the equation of line. What is the equation of the line? y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. So the equation of the line is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. So our y1 is 2. So y minus 2 is equal to y2 is 3 and y1 is 2. So 3 minus 2 divided by x2. x2 is uh, minus 3 and uh, x1 is minus 5 and x minus x1. x1 is 5. This becomes y minus 2 is equal to So y minus 2 into minus 8 you can bring the denominator minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8. So y minus 2 into minus 8 will be equal to 3 minus 2 is 1 into x minus 5. Now minus 8 into y is minus 8y. Minus into minus plus 8 to the 16. And x into 1 is x and minus 5. Now we have to arrange the equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So x plus 8y minus 8y when we shift it to the other side it becomes plus 8y minus y minus 16 is equal to 0. Now 8y is equal to minus of x minus 21. 8y will be equal to minus x plus 21. So y will be equal to minus x by 8 plus 21 by 8. So y will be equal to mx plus c. y is equal to mx plus c is the equation. So slope m, slope m will be minus 1 by 8. And c the value of c that is y intercept y intercept will be 21 by 8 the value of c is 21 by 8 on comparing so that is the y intercept hence we have solved the equation 3 now let us solve the fourth Problem. Find the slope of the line joining 6, 3 and 2, 1. Let us first write down the given point x1, y1 is equal to 6, 3 and x2, y2 is equal to 2, 1. Now 
we have to find the slope of the line joining the two points. So the slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now what is our y2? y2 is 1. So 1 minus 3 divided by x2. x2 is 2 minus and x1 is 6. So 2 minus 6 is equal to 1 minus 3 will be minus 2 and 2 minus 6 will be minus 4. Minus minus will get cancelled and 2 by 4. 2 by 4 can be reduced to 1 by 2. Now let us solve the fifth problem. Find the value of k if straight line 2x minus 3y plus k is equal to 0 passes through the point 5 comma minus 1. The line given line is 2x minus 3y plus k is equal to 0 and they have said that it passes through the point 5 comma minus 1. So 2 into the value of uh, 5 comma minus 1 is x comma y. So wherever there is x we have to put 5 and wherever there is y we have to substitute minus 1. So this becomes 2 into 5 minus 3 into minus 1 plus k is equal to 0. 2 5 is a 10 minus into minus is plus 3 1 is a 3 plus k is equal to 0 and k will be minus 13. Now sixth one find the equation of a straight line which passes through the point minus 1 plus 2 and parallel to the line 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Let us write what is given. So given a line 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now let us find the slope of the given line. So the given line is of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and the slope formula is minus a by b. So our a is 2 here. So minus 2 divided by b. b is 3. So our slope is minus 2 by 3 here. Now let us find the slope of the parallel line. We have obtained the slope of the parallel line. So the slope of the parallel line m is equal to minus 2 by 3. So this passes through. It passes through the point. So the given point is minus 1 comma plus 2. Minus 1 comma plus 2 is x1 y1. So this passes through x1 y1 that is minus 1 comma 2. The equation y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So this is the equation y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So y minus what is the value of y1? 2 and m we have obtained m it is minus 2 by 3 x minus x1 the value of x1 is minus 1. So this becomes y minus 2 is equal to minus 2 by 3 into x plus 1 because minus into minus is plus and plus 1 we get. Now let us transpose 3 to the other side. So 3 into y 3 y minus 3 into 2 6 is equal to minus 2 into x is minus 2 x and minus 2 into plus 1 is minus 2. Now 2 x plus 3 y minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 0 when we arrange it of the form a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0. That is we have shifted all to one side. When we shift all to one side minus becomes plus and plus becomes minus. So we get 2x plus 3y minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. This will be equal to 0. So this is the required equation. So this is the equation of the straight line which passes through the point minus 1 comma 2 and it is parallel to the line 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the required equation.